Hi guys and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be discussing what is auto discover service. In this particular video, I will be discussing what is auto discover, which services rely on auto discover, what is service connection point or SCP, how auto discover process works when a user configures Outlook profile from a domain joined machine, what will be the auto discover process when user configures profile from non-domain joint machine or from internet. The auto discover process in Office 365 or Exchange Online Environment. I will be discussing the auto discover process in hybrid environment and the tools that we can use to troubleshoot or test auto discover service. Auto discover is Microsoft Exchange service which was introduced in Exchange Server 2007. Auto Discover service helps Outlook 2007 or later clients to automatically connect with Exchange Server. Auto Discover service is used by multiple features. Outlook client uses Auto Discover service for offline address book, out of office service, and for free busy. Auto Discover service is used by mobile devices to configure Exchange profiles. In hybrid deployment, auto discover service is used for free busy lookups and is used to check the connectivity between Exchange Server and Office 365. Auto discover service is used during Outlook profile creation. Auto discover service runs at set intervals to collect changes to URLs that provide Exchange web services like out of office and availability service. Auto discover runs every hour after a successful attempt. If the attempt is not successful, the next try is made five minutes later. When Outlook connection fails, Outlook starts an auto discover task to retrieve new settings to fix the connection problem. Auto discover service will run when an application starts it using MAPI protocol. The Exchange Auto Discover service provides an easy way for the client applications to configure itself with minimal user input. Most users know their email address and passwords only. They do not know what server settings they need to use while configuring their profiles in Outlook clients. So as soon as a user provides his email address and username, Auto Discover service starts and finds all the settings that are required to complete the profile configuration. But here we want to know what exactly happens in the background, how Auto Discover service fetches all the server settings automatically, which are required for a successful Outlook configuration and for Exchange services. When we install Client Access Server role or CAS role, a virtual directory named Auto Discover is created under the default website within Internet Information Services or IIS. This virtual directory handles Auto Discover request from Outlook clients. And during CAS role installation, a new service connection point object is created in Active Directory sites and services. This service connection point or SCP object is used by domain joint clients to locate auto discover service. The SCP object contains two pieces of information, service binding information attribute and keywords attribute. You can find these attributes by right clicking on exchange and go to attribute editor. Service binding information attribute contains the fully qualified domain name or FQDN of the client access server in the form of HTTPS FQDN of cache server slash auto discover slash auto discover dot XML. In this example, exchange dot test labs dot local is the FQDN or the fully qualified domain name of the cache server. The keywords attribute specifies the Active Directory site to which the client access server belongs. If you have multiple cache servers in your environment, you will see multiple sites in Active Directory. Now let's understand how Outlook connects to auto discover using a domain joint machine. Outlook sends a lightweight directory access protocol query or LDAP query to Active Directory. Through this LDAP query, Outlook tries to locate all the available SCP objects within Active Directory. Outlook initializes this LDAP connection using LDAP underscore init function. 
Outlook locates the keywords attribute of the SCP record and checks insight list and out of sight list. The insight list contains the SCP records that have auto discover site scope defined. Auto discover site scope specifies the site to which auto discover will connect. If insight list records are not created, then an out of sight list will be generated. Outlook tries to connect to each auto discover URL that is retrieved from insight or out of sight list. Then auto discover service queries Active Directory to obtain the connection settings and URLs for the exchange services. The auto discover service returns an HTTPS response with an XML file that includes the connection settings and URLs for the available exchange services. And finally, Outlook uses the configuration information and connection settings from the XML file to connect to the exchange messaging environment. Now let's understand how Outlook will connect to auto discover service when user is using a non domain joint machine or using external network. Outlook will first try to locate the auto discover service by looking SCP objects in Active Directory. Because client is using external network, it will not be able to connect to Active Directory. Outlook will try to locate auto discover service by using domain name system or DNS. Now question arises how Outlook will locate DNS for auto discover service. Outlook uses the domain suffix from the email address of the user who is trying to configure his profile in Outlook. For example, if user's email address is user at office365concepts.com, Outlook will extract office365concepts.com from the email address and will reach DNS using predefined URLs. But for Outlook to be able to locate the auto discover service by using DNS, there must be a host record in DNS for the auto discover service that maps the public IP address of the CAS server where the auto discover service is hosted. Only then Outlook will be able to locate the auto discover service using external network. Then Outlook will contact the auto discover service. The auto discover service will return URLs and connection settings for Microsoft Exchange services. And Outlook will connect to Exchange messaging services. Now let's understand auto discover process when your mailboxes are hosted in Office 365 environment. That means you have fully Office 365 environment. Outlook will first check if provided user principal name belongs to Office 365 account. If Outlook finds that this account is an Office 365 account, Outlook will try to retrieve auto discover payload from Office 365 endpoints which is https autodiscover-s.outlook.com slash autodiscover slash autodiscover.xml. But in case you have created a registry key on client machine, which is exclude explicit O365 endpoint, then Outlook will not be able to connect to this URL. In that case, Outlook will follow the next lookup process, which is root domain. Outlook builds a URL from the domain name of the initial address in the format of HTTPS domain.com slash autodiscover slash autodiscover.xml. Now Outlook will try to retrieve the payload from this resulting URL. Because many root domains are not configured for autodiscover, so this lookup will fail. The next autodiscover lookup is autodiscover.domain.com. For this step, Outlook will create a URL from the domain name of the user principal name and will form a URL HTTPS autodiscover.domain.com slash autodiscover slash autodiscover.xml and will try to retrieve the autodiscover payload. If Outlook doesn't retrieve XML file from this URL, it will move to the next lookup process. The next auto discover lookup is HTTP redirect. Outlook will send a request to auto discover domain URL, which is HTTP 
colon slash slash auto discover dot domain dot com slash auto discover slash auto discover dot xml. Even if Outlook will find the XML file from this URL, Outlook will ignore this response because this response is sent from HTTP, which is a non-secured URL. Next, Auto Discover Lookup is SRV Lookup. In this step, Outlook makes a DNS query for autodiscover.tcp.domain.com and tries to find the XML file. If Outlook doesn't find XML file on this step, it moves to the next step, which is Office 365 fail safe. In this step, Outlook will try to find XML file from HTTPS autodiscover-s.outlook.com slash autodiscover slash autodiscover.xml. Now let's understand how autodiscover process works in hybrid environment. In hybrid environment, we have few mailboxes in on-premise exchange server and few are on Office 365. Even when Autodiscover is pointing to your on-premise exchange server, Autodiscover continues to work for mailboxes that have been migrated to exchange online. This is one of the advantages of an exchange hybrid scenario. Let's assume that we have a user in on-premise exchange server and we have migrated this user to Office 365. When this user will be migrated to Office 365, a remote mailbox will be created in on-premise exchange and a remote routing address and target address will be added to the user attributes in Active Directory and in exchange mailbox properties. When this user will try to configure his profile in Outlook, the first auto discover lookup will be domain.com, which is https domain.com slash auto discover slash auto discover dot XML. Outlook will not be able to find XML file on this URL, so Outlook will move to the next auto discover lookup. The next auto discover lookup is auto discover dot domain dot com. On this URL, this query will be redirected to Office 365 because the on-premise remote mailbox has a remote routing address added and the query will be forwarded to domain.mail.onmicrosoft.com. So the next auto discover lookup is domain.mail.onmicrosoft.com. This URL will fail because we do not add auto discover records on mail.onmicrosoft.com domain. The next auto discover lookup is auto discover dot domain dot mail dot on Microsoft dot com. The XML file is not available on this URL, so the query will move to the next auto discover lookup. The next lookup URL is a redirect method, which is initiated on a non secured channel. So even if Outlook will find the XML file, it will ignore this and will move to the next URL. The next auto discover URL is Office 365 endpoint, which is auto discover s dot outlook dot com, where XML file will be retrieved and Outlook profile will be configured for the user. If you want to run auto discover test, you can go to test connectivity dot Microsoft dot com. If you want to run auto discover test for a mailbox who is hosted in Office 365, you can select Office 365. And then you can click on either Outlook connectivity or you can run the test which says synchronization, notification, availability and automatic replies. If you want to run this test for a mailbox which is hosted in on-premise exchange server, for that you can click exchange server and you can run the Outlook connectivity test or the auto discover test. For this demo, I'm going to run auto discover test for a user whose account is hosted in Office 365. So I will select Office 365 and then I will click on this particular test. Here we will type the email address or the user principal name of the user. Then we will click on sign in. And here we will type the credentials of the user for which we are going to test auto discover service. And then you will type these text that you can see within this box. Click verify. 
and then click perform test. So now this tool testconnectivity.microsoft.com will check the Exchange Web Services for this particular user. It will check whether Auto Discover is working properly for this user or not. So here we can see the test is successful. Now here we can see the test has been completed successfully. The test was initiated for this particular user. And this tool, Microsoft Remote Connectivity Analyzer, has connected to Office 365 endpoint which is autodiscover-s.outlook.com. And the connection was made over 443 port, which is HTTPS port, which is the secure channel. Now here we can see the autodiscover-s.outlook.com was found within the DNS. 443 port was open. These are the certificate validations. This tool will check if this certificate is valid or not. Now, if you will scroll it down here, you can see the tool has found the XML file for this particular user. The file was found from Office 365 endpoint, which is autodiscover-s.outlook.com slash autodiscover slash autodiscover.xml. Now, when you run this tool, what this tool does to check the autodiscover connectivity, it creates meetings within your calendar. You will not be able to see those meetings in your calendar because this tool creates and deletes the meeting right there. So you will not be able to find, if you will go to your calendar, you will not see those meetings. If you scroll it down here, you will see those events as well. Here you can see new mail item was created, deleting an item. So it has created an item and then this item was deleted. So this tool does this, to check the auto discover connectivity. And here we can see the calendar item was new mail item is being created, deleted the item, new appointment was created within the calendar, deleting the item. So it creates the email, it deletes the email, then it creates the calendar meetings to check if your calendar is working fine or not. And then it deletes those meetings as well. So if you have learned something new from this particular video, please write in comments and please subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Take care.